people, we're back here with another episode of Bunker Survival. I'm your host, White Rose Demon, today. Last episode, we went and got ourselves some uh, farm set up. So let's just do a quick check over here and plant up some more potatoes and harvest up some kicks. So that we can easily just f dark corner of the room. Don't like crops, it seems. Good to know. Add light. Okay, so it seems we need some extra light. Yeah, we need some extra light here. Grab a torch. Uh, more torches there. Yes, I know. I said I was in between episode. I was gonna do this, but uh, procrastination is a f real issue in life. Keyboard did not want to work that time. So we also got some. We got a nice supply of uh, sugar cane. We definitely got the supply of wood set up, and we got our uh, cobblestone just going. In between episodes, uh, I can't remember if I did this last episode or not, but I ended up with uh, two more magma generators to basically cover our power system. Still haven't gotten the ender shard yet, but we are at a point now. So let us decide, do we want to, we don't need to, be, uh, actually let's take our building gadget and some wood only downside is that so let's uh, change this to one so that we can change all this uh, We kind of have to keep uh, that stuff stone. Oh, I think these won't grow. Uh, so let's uh, swap this over to cobblestone and just pop these back in. Oh, this is uh, almost fully grown. Nice. Weird. Yeah, that should have done these. Oh, would help if I had the wood on me, I guess. Guess that's why it didn't work. Okay, let's come back over here and swap these out. There we go. I think like having the wooden floor just looks nice. And it's better than ha just having stone all over the place. Then we just got that little hub here with a bit of greenery for now. I think, it, I think it's just that nice touch that adds to the world. Today, I think, though, we will be doing some quests. These, uh, wait, what? 
Oh, we already did a quest. Yes, that, okay. I guess when I made storage upgrades, I forgot to collect that reward. So let's see what we get. Another mechanical crafter. I need to see what can we act actually do with this. Let's just place that down. Auto crafter. Hmm. If I take nickel and copper and put that in. Maybe if I grab nickel? I do not know. I can honestly say I do not know what this... What's that actually used for? I don't know. I know I have like a... Yeah, I already got two. And I don't know what they're used for. It baffles me. So, today's episode, let's see, what do we, oh, we also have this, Ivor Hammer, that is not bad, that is a bit better than iron, but, right now our storage is, uh, not the best, so I think, mm, why don't we finish up some of these here, Kill one gas, kill a skeleton, and kill one zombie pigmen. Okay. Wicked water. Which water can be used to transform items and mob into more ghastly versions? Spawn a gas by. Do we really want to kill a. Do we really want to summon a gas? And we need a pig and a skeleton. Okay. Craft a creepy doll, floating doll, freezing doll, teddy bear, protecting doll, and blazing doll. But freezing, burning. Oozing and smashing dolls. <sighs> uh, might not actually be that hard. Mm, do we have any clay laying around though? Mm. We got enough bone meal. Drop of evil. That's how we get a decent mob farm set up. I know that. Well, seeing how we have uh, more than enough leaves, and we don't need saplings. We can basically take all this stuff, pop it all in this in these tanks. Voila. So now today's episode I think our what we should do is probably start digging out some areas for something else. Either power generation to kind of uh, make this a more production heavy room or we kind of need a better storage so I think that's what I'm going to actually do right now.
We leave that, do two gaps, then two gaps. So now let's dig out these. Pop out the roof here. And mimic it on each of the sides. Normally I would just set this entire wall as storage drawers. And just use a controller or shelf to do it all. But I don't have the... Uh, real n patience to do that right now so we will be doing it this way sorry I had to sneeze and I didn't want to do it into the mic there went chests that's still not enough another sneeze Sorry about that. Don't know why I only need to. S I can go all day without sneezing, but as soon as I start recording a video or anything, I just start sneezing. I don't. I don't understand why. So let's come over here and grab some more. Okay. I think that should be more than enough uh, to make all the chests we need. What do you th what do you all think? More than enough chests? No. Wow, we're left with an even number in our uh, thing. So let's finish off uh, putting this stuff in. I'm not saying any of this is going to be organized. Until we get an ME system, this is probably our best possible option. You know what, I'm just going to speed this up by like a couple minutes. Making the hammer is a m way better thing. I wish I had the ability to... Ab I wish they ha had this... Uh, the mod adds this in van to Thermal Foundation. I don't think they have that as in vanilla yet. Sadly. Because I would be happily... I would be happy to just have that in vanilla. Like just a hammer that can mine a tree by tree block. Okay, so we have some charcoal here. So let's make up some stone torches. And just pop these in here. And hopefully by the time that's done... Yeah, I know. Inconsistency is a terrible thing in worlds like this. And now we'll use slabs to block up th this part of the wall, like so, so that we can still open those chests. And you know, I think it might actually be time for me to get into... Oh. Why, Minecraft? Why? Why do you have to do me like that? So right here. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people who... Do not like what I'm about to do. And I do apologize for that right now. 
if you do not like it but when given this option really you kind of have to take it uh... This is one of my all-time favorite things with this mod. The these I really don't understand why they exist right now. But knowing me, I'll probably figure that out in like five seconds. Uh, let's place this here, and we can now do this. Let's f grab this. Now, I also want to... Oh, okay. Look at his power staying absolutely constant. Thanks to our upgrade in power. Nice, we got some diamonds. I think I want to use up some of our new... Uh, well, not new storage. Wait, we need this. And we also need the dust. Sadly, this dust is going to be used to create uh, a lot of dolls. Oh, I'm definitely not wasting diamonds on this. They're going right in there. Somebody please remember where I placed those diamonds. Because with my luck I will f instantly forget where I put them. Uh, emeralds, emeralds, emeralds. Here we go. I, n I know I had a lot of emeralds laying around. So we can make four by the looks of it. Now the question is, how do we make these dolls? Oh, oh, okay! A teddy... oh! Okay, let's see. Uh, end stuff. Nether stuff. I haven't gotten no nether worked yet. Uh, soul sand is made by... Oh, uh, witch water and sand. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. So, uh, let's just claim this reward. Another... Another thing, I don't know what it is. Okay. Well, we got the sand, uh, the dust. Wow, we Yeah, we can't do anything else with that, so... We'll quickly throw that in there, for actually. Let's come over here and uh, just start shiving this all down ourselves to get. Uh, if we can get four glowstone, I should be happy. Uh, of course not, but I think I can still get away with doing it with the uh, redstone. Uh, 
I think I just need to make a block of redstone out of it. This is going to be a pretty cool thing I make, I th hope. Don't have the same texture as a... Uh, uh, yeah, let's just make this. So... Let's go up through here. Dang it. Actually, uh, do we have any dyes laying around? Oh, we do have glowstone. Well, either way, uh, wait, no, let's uh, make the glowstone one first, and now let's make a uh, a stack of arches. I need to figure out what to do with that one. Yeah, I need the die. Uh, I need the orange uh, coloring. But. Now, let's grab this. This is what I wanted to do with these. Because this will actually give off some light. So I wanted to grab this. Oops. And now we take the glowstone orb and pop it down like that. Then we break these. And we just got a bit of glowstone now. And then we do a very similar thing right here. I could have just done that in the beginning, couldn't I? Redstone and glowstone. And our first ever berries from our ore berries. These can go right into uh, I think. Why did I even waste my time time setting that up? I don't know. Okay, whatever. So we have our little areas here set up for our storage. So now let's just toss all this stuff in. Not needing it. Wanna hold on to that. Uh, throw those in, those in. And now let's find, uh, there we go, dark oak. Let's turn all this into that. And let's up the range to Yes, let's do this. Yes, I don't mind the th area here, a kind of under the air wall. There we go. Now, let's go and grab Dark Oak Rocks. 
and change out for it. And now let's place these down. We come back over here, pop this in, and then we up it back in, finish it off. with a nice thorough finish and voila our little storage hall is temporarily set up for us to have our best possible storage at the moment we will make a more dedicated warehouse area but probably not at any time soon. Now will probably be episode 20 or so when we actively are decorating the place. But for now I have a little idea. Let's come over. Let's just throw all the stuff back in. Yes I know a lot of people are probably yelling at me saying put it back in the storage drawer. So I think I am gonna do that. Uh, Wait, raw? I can eat just raw wheat. Probably not the most tasty of thing. I don't suppose. I don't think. Uh, more wires there. Uh, let's see. Hmm. At some point, I think. Okay, so let's talk about the residential district a bit. Because I think that's going to be our... Uh, something we work on later on down the line. Definitely. Because that's going to be where our main f food sources come from. Because I say each residential chambers will mostly just be a room... A personal fridge or some type of personal storage type thing, a, a bathroom, just something simple. Because, uh, Okay, we have si we have cooking for blockhead stuff. That's that's good. But uh, let's uh, complete another quest, I think. So let's see. We can. Ooh, we we need a lot of stuff for this, I think. Okay, that's actually fairly easy to make. So let's uh, knock these three quests out of the out of the way. Let's grab uh, three of these. L actually, let's let's do this. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, in order to make the grout uh, quest book, third works we need grout. And make eight grout we need. So basically, a stack divided by four is how much clay we need. So 16. Okay, so we need 16 clay. Which means we need 16 blocks, so that is 
five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. Once we get to a point where uh, we can ease, we, we 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 are close to a point where we can easily automate this. But I just find it's a bit more fun to go about doing it the old-fashioned way at some time points. Wait a minute, we put the, this the stuff in here in our new storage. So we need to do this, uh, three times in total. I wonder, could I just be doing this, like, twice as fast by just using a barrel? So we make a wooden bill now. Uh, let's just put this uh, uh, right here. Let's throw water in there. Let's swap. Wait. Uh, let's put that in our offhand. Grab water. Okay. And he's almost done, so... There we go! Now, if this is completed, no way it is, so... Uh, let's just bypass this entire thing. It's just uh, going to take way too long if we don't. Because I'm my goal is to try and keep these episodes between an hour and an hour and ten minutes. Because that's what seems to be what people likes to watch and uh, that, yeah. So, I think it was... Like this, then like this, and then like that. Yes, it was. Nice, we got two stacks of grout. That is... Uh, can I put it in... What's the point of you? Okay, let's see. Stone gear, simple machine casing, iron, bucket, so, green of infinity, okay, uh, I think I can actually make that. 
I definitely have a grains of infinity somewhere. Now the real question is, uh, our iron. It can be used to make an alloy smelter. Dark steel industrial. That can then be made into an enhanced alloy smelter. Okay. So this is our best option, long term. So now let's remove the useless thing of this and pop that in there. And uh, I think if we... Is it like cooking three things at once? It is! So let's uh, head into the quest book. We need blocks of iron. But I think we should be pretty good for the sake of our materials. Oh yeah, we definitely have enough, a ton of iron laying around, don't we? Luckily, I can just do this, balance the grid, and now we can take this, pop that in there. Oh, right, uh, we should probably get this done. Uh, pardons chest, pop builder, okay. We can do that with the, some of with the uh, oak wood we got from our buddy here. I I I'll holy doubt I'll be using tinkers very long. Like do it to get the quests. Pot builder, uh I believe it's Central Table That and now we need to make a chest in order to make a pattern chest. That gives us a jet, but because I can, 
I'm going to craft up this stuff. Uh, we don't need the induction smelter, so I'm going to. Uh, ooh, uh, we are definitely running out of room, so. There we go. Yeah, we. I think our next episode is probably going to be expanding our production area over here, so that we can house our tanker stuff, all our power generation, and set up a much better automation of these. Because I think I'm going to make three different. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to make four different setups. Gonna need a lot of diamonds for that, though. Because for we need... This goes to the door. So, one, two, three, four. Four. Time. Four. Then three. Then two. Then one. So, we need... Four. Six. Wait, no. Four, seven. Nine. We need... Ten. We got eight. Well, we got... So we need... It won't be nearly as effective... But... Okay, so we got the hammers we need. So, we need pressure plates. So we need eight more of those. Uh, eight pressure plates. Luckily, we have a lot of iron. We definitely have more than enough iron. So, uh, I know we need two of those. Uh, we need a drain, that, and that. Okay. I think we have enough. Just barely. So, uh, we don't need these going anymore. We only need eight. So let's grab this. Mm. Of course, of course. Let's grab the iron and pop that in. Because I think we want to have this off putting into like a set of chests or something so that we can automate our. If I can figure out how to separate it twice. Because I think uh, let's uh, I'll figure out what I want to do later on. For now, let's just put these in here because I don't say I'm gonna really. I, I want to keep the damaged ones for. Okay, I don't need this stuff. Uh, this stuff, uh, I think I need to hold on to it for the simple quest line. 
Alright, I forget. I can't put the stuff back in them. So once they're in, they're in. Uh, I need to grab a hammer. No, uh, that is not what I need to do. Where's, where's half my buckets? Again. This is going to be 90% of the series, just me losing buckets. And not knowing where. Because look at this. Like, it's don't, it don't even cause a drop in power anymore. We got that many going. Yeah, just because, why not? Let's power these things up and keep them. Let's just put lava going into these. Just overload our power even more. Like, yeah, we get a dip in power here, but, heck, we got this thing powering up, we got tons of iron just coming in, we are pretty much set for, because we now no longer, we do not speak about what I just did. I have these backup resources for this reason. Oh man. Thankfully it does like three at a time. So to make a the station we need, we need a tool station. Simple enough. I know. I'm I'm wasting uh, possibly precious resources for the sake of uh, random stuff that never gonna get used again. But, live and learn. Oh, need bricks. There we go. Now we can just throw all this uh, Tinker stuff uh, into a chest and never revisit it. Well, we we might revisit it. Oof. Uh, can this furnace be uh, used to cook apples? I really hope it can. But, with this speed, definitely, uh, yeah, we, we definitely have, like, more than enough of our power being produced. Wasn't this where I put my diamonds? Oh, oh yeah, I used all my diamonds, didn't I? I can't remember. Oh well. We'll probably uh, 
Right, uh, let's m clear out all this stuff. We're getting drains of infinity, which, if I remember correctly, can only normally be gotten through the use of uh, digging down the bedrock and lighting that on fire. And I'm not in the mood to do that f just for simple grains. <laughs> or at least I think it's just the grains that we get from that. Yeah, I think we're going to be sticking with apples until we get a steady supply of food that is actually high quality and good to eat. <laughs> well, only this berry is... G well, only that one's gone, but oh well. We're still getting ourselves some decent materials. Uh, let's pop these out and pop them in here. Why not? Yeah, this furnace was definitely a good idea to build. We now have basic infinite fuel powering this. Show recipes. That's a lot of possibilities. Hold on. Uh. Dough can be made actually addition uh, by smelting it we get baguette. Hmm. And what can we do with a baguette? With paper a knife steak and cheese. Milk and egg. Okay. Well, we can I I I do like Yeah, let's make a stack of Okay. Okay, so unless it's like something that can fuse together we can't put the stuff in. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. So, we definitely have ourselves some a nice furnace now. Instead of that n thing that didn't make any sense of why we had it. We got our heads on the wall. Uh, let's see, what else th can we do this episode? Oh yeah, let's collect our rewards. See, and for doing simple tinkers things that we could have done at the very beginning of the series, we get Herculine. I have no clue what that does. Oh, we'll check that out in a second. Then we get Epic Bacon. Nice. Hopefully, we got more than one. Then we get. Of course, something that uh, stores energy for your flux network. Oh, wait. So, does that mean we have a uh, flux plugs? Hmm. I click just to change mode. Okay, so it seems that we can store energy for our network if we simply, uh, Bunker Core. C 
Create a new network. Uh, bunker core network. Oh, network. No password. Color, uh, we'll do light blue. Warm. Oh, wait. Public. Create. Now we select this. Bunker Core Network and uh, we need a flux block which is flux so we really just cook redstone down makes sense everything else in that that seems uh, impossibly hard turns out to be beyond simple doesn't it so we need flux core which is made by flux uh, obsidian an end eye bloody so it seems flux pyro grow which pile grow? Wood chippings, nilter dirt, and rich slag. Always charcoal, nitro dust, and slag. Okay. Uh. So we need one of those, I think, but it's a uh, flux networks. So flux point gives the energy. So yeah, we need a. Uh, I don't. Know, so we need a. Uh, yeah, we need redstone. Just because, uh, so now we need these, uh, f obsidian is easy to get, flux is semi easy to get, okay. So literally any type of cooking. Uh, Well, we need the, that anyway, because of flux. Po that stuff is easy to get. It's the eye of Ender. Ender star. If I can just get one eye of Ender, I'll be good. Wait a minute, uh... Resonating Ender? Hmm... Ender fragments. We can't get those in the right. Uh. Hmm. Because I think our, uh, having a flux network is probably our best.
best option for powering the entirety of the base without the need to have uh, all of the machines running wires like this all over the place. Well, we're getting close to time now, it seems. So, I don't, I don't seem like we got much done, but long term, this is go this will help us now that we've learned. I think next episode, or in between episodes, I'm going to try and figure out how to get Ender Pearls without going and fighting the Ender Dragon right now. And I think I will... I think next episode we will probably expand our production area, which is this. That is where we are going to have our automation of uh, shiving resources, mining, and well, pretty much automation of hammering, shiving, and other stuff. What is going on here? Hmm, weird. Oh, it seems we d it's going a lot slower. Click for recipes. Yeah, it's just lava. Yeah, everything is going quite uh, powerful. I definitely think I want to, uh... Let me move this up here. Nope. There we go, for now. Wait a minute. Energy node. I, I, I have a low feeling this is going to work. But we'll test it out on camera just to say we did it. So, now, let's take this. Pop this on right here, and hopefully that works, and then we pop it down like that. It does not work. Okay, well, let's, uh, and we'll probably, between episodes, I think I'm going to clean this up a bit, get this area ready to be moved to the next, like just cleaned up and fixed up. So that next episode we can just jump right in and dig out the area with the hammers. Set up our machinery and get going. So. Today we will be. And let's get a quick screenshot in here. So that we have it for the thumbnail. So today, uh, on next episode, don't forget to, that's the it for today's episode. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below for a name for this bunker. And just leave a comment down in general. We'll have the comments of the day coming once we start getting comments on videos. Tune in to, don't forget to hit subscribe to be notified of our other content. Our uh, bunker survival isn't the only thing. We also got... Kingdom Survival, where we are currently building the Crystal Wolf Tribe. Now, I sh ain't going to spoil anything, but both of these are connected in a way of why we are here and how we ended up here as well. Everything I do is connected in a way. So, this is White Rose Demon for Rose Demon Gaming signing off for the night don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and we'll catch you for the next one later all